Hello, and welcome to the fourth tutorial episode. And we're going to be looking at some summer time. Again, we're going to start off with a normal battle. So I'm playing my lands. See, my hand here is five or well, four lands left, and two six mana creatures. So, instance. Unlike other spells, instance can be cast at any time, even during your opponent's turn, or in response to another spell. So, this instant I've drawn is called Giant Growth. Uh, it's one mana in forest. Target creature gets plus three plus three until end of turn. So, this instant has a one time effect, just like a sorcery. The difference being, it can be cast at any time. Provided I have the, uh, the mana cost ready for it. So he's going to play a creature, Goblin. Standard creature, 2 1. Now, as you can see, as soon as a creature comes, because this is a target creature, so it's become Hylot. So I can actually use it now if I wanted on his creature, which would be pointless. So obviously I'm going to wait. Okay, the game kind of bugged out there. <laughs> Not sure what happened, but we've escaped it. Um, so now I've drawn the creature, Colonian Tusker, two mana. And the good thing is, because I have three mana this turn, I'll be able to play this creature, and I have enough spare mana to play this giant growth if I need it. Right, he is playing a enchantment aura, which we uh, talked about in the last video. Enchant creature, it gets plus three plus zero, and has first strike, which I believe we've also mentioned before. So it's a five power creature now, with one life. Because it has first strike, if I were to block, my creature would die, and his would live. Because remember, first strike deals damage first to my creature before I can attack him. However, if I block, stop the timer before the battle commences, I can cast my instant card, even though it's his turn. I'm going to cast it onto my creature, give it plus three, plus three. It makes it a six, six creature for this turn. And although he's got first right, he does his damage first. But now I have enough life to survive. So it goes all the way down to one life. And now I deal my damage to him. And he dies. So because of the instant he lost is a very powerful creature. Because instance you can't really see coming. So I have another creature, 4 2 with trample. I'm going to bring that out and attack with my existing creature. So he's going to end this turn. And it looks like I have another instant card. Again, it costs one mana. This time, target creature gains indestructible until end of turn. So that's actually a very powerful card. So if one of my creatures is about to die, I'll be able to suddenly put this on it and make it indestructible. Just for one turn. Oh, and as you can see, he's got an instant of his own. So his instant. Here's a lightning bolt, it deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Looks like he's picking on my spiked Baloth, since he only has 2 life, so it'll die. 
However, I can now interrupt his spell. I've stopped the timer already. And I can play my instant to give my creature indestructible. And there it goes. So, as you cast instants, the first one that's cast will go in the bottom of the pile. And as you cast more, they go on top of the previous ones. So as you can see, I cast mine second, and it goes on top of his. And the ones at the top resolve first. So my creature will gain indestructible, and then he'll do three damage to it. So it's indestructible, then the three damage comes. So obviously it's zero life, but it's indestructible, so it's still alive. So it's very good to have instants held back in your hand to uh, use in response to their spells. And he has another instant lightning bolt, does three damage to a creature or player. So he's very persistent, he's actually going to kill my creature. So I finally got my sixth lamb so I can play my big creatures. Like he's got a creature of his own. First strike, three power, and two life. Yeah, which means if I were to attack with my three power, three life creature, I would lose that fight if he blocked. But I'm going to attack with my bigger creature. He's blocking. So first strike, he lives the damage first, so I get into two, and then I do damage to him, and he dies. And obviously without first strike, all the damage is dealt simultaneously. So in that battle, first strike made no difference at all. So he has a sorcery card. Or goblin offensive. And this one's interesting because it has an X mana cost. So it's got two mountains you need, one mana of any type, and then X mana of any type. And then the the effect of it is put X 1-1 one, one red goblin creatures onto the battlefield. So whatever he chooses X to be when he's paying for the spell, that's how many creatures he'll get. So he's chosen X as 4, using all his mana there, you can see. So a spell with X in its cost has an effect that changes depending on how much money you pay to cast it. The more you pay, the bigger the effect. So he's got four goblins in one turn with that sorcery. It looks like I've drawn an instant card with an X mana cost. So it costs one forest, and then on top of that, X mana, which can be however much I choose. Target creature gets plus X plus X until end of the turn. So I'm going to hold that back in my hand for a while. He's going to block all three of my creatures, so... None of my creatures are in danger, so I don't need to use this instant card just yet. He's just blocking those goblins to save his life points, which are very low. Seven. You'll notice that these creatures, they're tokens. And when tokens die, they don't go to the graveyard. They just disappear from the game. Okay, he's playing a sorcery, Love Axe, to his 5 damage type player. 
So we're going to do 15 months. You're not too worried about that. And for another one of those instances. So I should be able to kill him this turn. Even without the instance, he should die. But I'm going to stop the timer and show you how to use them. So he's blocked this one. So to do extra damage, I can play my instant. I can choose a value for X, rather. And that will base how much mana I spend in the spell. So I can spend all six of my mana. Or seven, sorry. And the value of X is now six. And I'll choose this creature to get it. So there he goes up. 12, 11. Just for this turn. And uh, my opponent dies. So thanks for watching. And in the next episode will be the last tutorial. And it will be about activated abilities and artifacts. So I'll see you there.